Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of data structure. Today we are going to learn about the infix to postfix weight parenthesis expression conversion by using tabulation method. And we are going to learn about the algorithm for that. Hi, this is Janish Shah, your instructor. So let's begin to convert your infix to postfix expression. Here I am going to show the precedence table again. Okay, this is just for your revision work that how the precedence tables look like for the infix to postfix with parenthesis expression. We already know that plus minus division star dollar arrow carrot ABCD opening bracket and closing bracket all are there in the symbols. Each and every symbol has a different precedence in inside the stack and outside the stack. In inside the stack students, we have like one, two, three, four. And we talk about the exponential operator, it becomes 5 and then 6 over there. Then 7, 8, 9, 0, 0, dash. This is how your precedence tables look like. Rank of the operators are minus 1 and operands is plus 1. There is no rank for the opening bracket and closing bracket. The opening bracket precedence is always higher when it is in character scan column. But when it is goes inside the stack, it becomes 0. The closing bracket precedence is 0 in character scan column. There is no precedence exists when it goes inside the stack because it never goes inside the stack when we talk about the closing bracket. So here it is. The basic rules, uh, basic things are there that uh, when we go from plus minus to ABCD, the precedence is increasing. And here again, the plus minus, division star and dollar arrow carrot all have different precedence in inside and outside the stack. What points and conditions are there? Condition is very much simple. We already know that the type of text is less than G of S of top. Here G represents the inside stack precedence and F represents the outside the stack precedence. Fine. If the condition satisfies, then you just need to do perform the pop operation else to the push. Next we have the rules. First we need to initialize the stack with the opening bracket. Second one, you need to append the closing one at your infix string. The third one, that the top element of the stack is the greater than the next value, then you just need to perform the pop operation. Fourth one, else perform the push. And the fifth one, when you found the closing bracket in character scan column, then just remove all the elements from the stack until unless you will get the first opening one. That closing, that opening get cancelled out together. All elements will be popped out. And that is your final answer. Okay. So let's look at the algorithm first. So in fix to post fix with parenthesis algorithm. First, what we need to do, students, we just need to initialize our stack with the opening one. So that the thing you already know how you can read in without parenthesis method. What we did, we just write like this initialize the stack, then top arrow one, and as of top arrow hash. Same thing you're gonna do over here, like first the top arrow one and a sub top arrow opening bracket because we need to initialize with the opening bracket right now what next next we when we talk about the reverse polish and the rank reverse polish initialized with the null and rank must be zero so here it is my first string which we have now try to take the next input character students that is next arrow next character of infix these all steps are very much similar to the, of the previous algorithm now, the next, the infix string is A plus opening bracket B minus C closing one division D. So here students, we first get in the next, that is A. That is A, okay, whatever we get, that is A. So in the next students, we have A. So translate starting the infix expression into the postfix. Repeat these steps until and unless you will get next is not equal to null. C. In the previous one, we write like this, repeat the steps and then you get next is not equal to hash because our string is appended by hash. But here it's not like that. Although our string is appended by the closing one, but that closing one and opening one both get cancelled out together. How? That we will learn in this algorithm in step number 7. So how it will be done? Let's see. So this process, this loop is continued from step number 4, 5, 6 and 7. Four steps are there. Now what about the step number 5, C. So step number 5 is remove all symbols from the stack. 
first we need to check whether my top is less than one see when starting the removing before removing the symbol just check it out whether the stack is emptied or not if is that so it means it means you have some values see the stack becomes empty that means there is some mistake over there okay so if the top is less than one then the expression becomes invalid then you need to write exit else start repeat while put the condition over here f of next is less than g of s of top so what to do all steps are common students okay so first we just need to apply the pop operation store the value in temp then concat the value with the reverse polish then check out the rank like rank arrow rank plus r of m and then if rank is less than 1 then we need to write invalid then exit so how see this is my character stack new reverse polish and rank so this is my opening bracket the reverse polish we have the null and the rank we have the zero next one is we have the a a will be pushed inside the stack next we have the plus so see a will pop down from the stack why because a is in next and the g of s of top is a so obviously plus and a plus is in next g of s of top is a both gets compared together and what happens obviously a will be popped out okay store in temp appended with the reverse polish calculated the rank it becomes 1 and after that what you need to do push plus inside so step number 6 is push plus inside but wait here the twist is that see after removing the temp polish and all the step number next we have 6 that are they matching parentheses here we need to first check is the parentheses are matching that means is the opening bracket and closing bracket are coming together if is that so then you first need to check if f of next is not equal to g of s of top see the residence of the opening bracket opening bracket inside the stack and the closing bracket outside the stack both are similar both are zero so what you need to check if if f of next is not equal to g of s of top then and then you need to call push l you just need to call pop that means that means the opening bracket is go out from the stack okay so this is the step number 6 if the situation goes like this if the closing bracket comes over there see check out over here we have the closing bracket in character scan column okay that means next then stack in the opening bracket plus opening bracket minus c now let me trace this algorithm for you first check out the condition stop step number 5 what we have we have if top less than one students is your top less than one no because your top is right now pointing at c fine now what next if f of next is less than g of s of top yes correct f of next is closing bracket parenthesis is zero the precedence is zero okay less than g of s of top what we have at g of s of top we have c over there the precedence is higher than closing but obviously so zero less than g of s of top condition is satisfied the c will be popped down Simply pop that it goes inside the tab, appended with the your output string, and then, then what happens? The top is decremented. Now the top becomes minus. Top becomes minus after removing the C, appended the word the star, calculate the rank. Now top becomes minus one. So twelve becomes A B C. Now what happens with the minus? With the minus top is at minus. Now your next is also the closing one. Next is still closing one. You are again. Go in the step number five. The repeat while loop is continuously going on. Okay, now the next become my sorry next becomes closing. The top is at minus. Compare both of them. Minus has the higher precedence. Again, perform the top uh, pop operation. Minus goes in temp appended with the reverse polish string. Calculate the rank. Now what happens? Next students we get opening bracket. Okay, so your condition step number five get false. Why? because f of next that means f of closing bracket and g of opening bracket both are similar so step number 5 the condition to get falls down and you directly move towards the step number 6 when you are comparing both has the same precedence or not see if both do not have the precedence then you just need to call push else else what do you need to do you just need to call pop so your opening bracket will pop out from the stack And you directly move towards the step number seven. So the step number seven is next arrow, next character of infix. So taking the next character, so automatically the closing one is also gone, right? 
your opening is gone in the pop operation and the closing one is also gone is overrated by the next character so fine you just need to repeat these steps again and again you will get your answer this is how you can trace your algorithm but finally you just need to check step number eight students you just need to check whether you're expressing valid or not at the end your top must be at zero and rank must be one if is that not so then your expression is invalid as it's valid so here it's all about the infix to postfix with parenthesized algorithm okay just try to take one example and trace this algorithm according to you if you feel any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much